And a ton of work's getting done on John's car today. Check out some of the details. And I'm here with your 1970 Mustang. Uh, as you can see over here, we replaced your rear wheel cylinders for your drum brakes. This little sucker is dirty. It's not leaking too bad. If you want to pop out the caps, so there's no no mean real leakage until you get to the, this side, which is not good. It sees up, and you won't be able to use your drums, which I think brakes are very important. You probably don't want to have that lock up on you while you're driving. So that's why we replaced it with a nice shiny new one. All right, so after uh, done here, I'll be going back to the front wheel bearings. I'll be replacing those, or repacking those, and then I'll be throwing back on the drum covers, and then taking a little bit of time to bleed the brakes after, once all the car is fully assembled. And we'll get back to you a little bit later. All right, hey John, welcome back. As you see over here, we're now on the driver's side, uh, rear axle, and here's your old wheel cylinder that we've taken that leisure to put in a new one here. And it doesn't have its seals well correctly. Got the lines attached in the back. And as you know, anybody who's done any brakes, you gotta get the air out of the system for the brakes to work effectively. So we're gonna have to bleed the system after we get all the wheels back on and get it back on all fours level on the ground. Uh, we'll get it done from there. All right, John, check it out. I'm uh, started reconnecting. Well, I'm going to uh, reconnect your heater core. And these, I'm just going to replace these hoses. Um, they were zipped. Yeah, you know, well, you know they were zipped tied up. They're they're kinked so bad. Um, I'm just going to replace them. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm taking the this bottom one off, and uh, that's it. You got some new hose right here, a small length of it. Back here with your 1970 Mustang. Uh, as you can see, we're back at the front end, and. Uh, as you can see here on the wheel bearings, I have freshly greased them. This is the traces of my greasy hands as I was reinstalling them. We properly put it and preload onto your bearings and cotter pinned it, and that's secure. There's no minimal play. This is uh, where you want it, not too loose, because when parts are too loose, they'll eventually end up breaking as you put load on onto the car. But no locking up, and I'm going to spray some brake cleaner on here to remove any of the grease and fingerprints that I've put onto your rotors. And uh, yeah, I'm going to slap the wheels on and then we're going to bleed the brakes on your car and we should be wrapping this thing up here soon. Alright, and Cliff just, he, he meant to say it, but he didn't say it. There's the dust caps that are on. The dust caps are back on before the tires get placed on there, not slapped, with a lot of love and caring attention for you, John. <laughs>